Hey everyone, so I lost a bit of footage here. Um, I think I did one of those continuity cuts that I do, and it, I forgot to save, I guess. I don't know, I ran down the hill, I got the supply drop, and there's a ton of stuff in the supply drop. So, I ran back down to where the little outpost was in town, uh, the Red Rocket, and I started basically just, you know, busting it all up and putting it into piles. And uh, then I dumped it all in the box to get myself, you know, get rid of all my junk. And um, that's about where we are here. So we didn't really miss much. I'm just now roaming around the town in the dark, uh, trying to continue on my adventure and level up and whatnot. Yeah, it's really, oh, there's stuff to loot in here. That's right, that's my stash. But there is stuff to loot here. Can you fix these? Nope, you still can't pick them up. They're all static objects now. You should be able to, like, pick these boxes up. Move them around and stuff. Uh, a letter of some kind. Delbert's Mountain Hawks. Check that out in a minute. Dandy boy apples, nice, nice. Nah. So everybody runs across these places like this in this game, and they think that they've run across somebody else's base, and they always feel bad when they take all this stuff out of it, but it's it's not somebody else's base, it's just your base. Okay, so I've been around this whole outside, I think, now. Give it one more once-over, and then go back inside, and... Alright, well actually, don't go back inside. Go back over here. Scrap items. Scrap all junk. Okay, now. Now we go back inside. And you go here, and we transfer all the junk. And that is a... Much better. What do you... Hey! How dare you? How dare you respawn? Oh god, there's more of them. Oh, wait. <gasps> Sorry. I freaked out and I hit him. You don't want to hit anybody. Bad. Bad. Is it like a sorry? I don't know, I can wave to him. <laughs> Is this his place? No. Oh, this is where the mole rats came in last time I was here. Yeah, I hope he wasn't really mad because I, I didn't I didn't mean to hit him. 
there was a a reflex action. Okay, so we're heading back down we're heading down this hill now. Potatoes. He's hungry. Who's hungry? Yeah, might as well. Might as well. Can you spoil anything? Dump. Whoops. I might have got a disease from that. That was kind of not a good idea to eat those. Toolbox? No. Who goes there part two? Nice. Stop playing the radio drama. I didn't ask you to play that. That's fine. I want to listen to him in order, but you know. In the last episode, Pioneer Scout Fred Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. Scotch reminder. Set up a trap for the you know who's and use the holotapes to try to record the noises at night. Get a lock for the secret stash by the Brahmin tubs behind the house. Mental note. Get a bigger gun or more guns or both. Try to tame a wild dog or a mole rat. R.I.P. Perry, you sweet boy. Uh, let's see. Secret stash by the Brahmin tubs behind the house. Mental note. This story is so weird. It's not really a secret stash. I mean, that's just... It's out in the open, that stash. The story just goes on and on and on. Or was Fred Fisher in fact abducted by brainwashing aliens from outer space? Be sure to tune in next week for another thrilling chapter of Tales from the West Virginia Hills. Dun -dun. All right, great. Responder Dasa gave me some supplies in exchange for my survivor story. So, hi. My name is Scott Shepard. Things are going all right. I was a nurse before the war, and I, I guess nothing much has changed. 
I just work for the responders now. And I don't get paid. I... The government is basically the same now as it was years ago. Wrecked. Disorganized. Cannot be trusted. Everyone knows. I'm joking. Listen, now right before everything went to hell, I saw him. I was grilling hamburgers out in the yard with my dog, and I heard rustling from the bushes and a zapping noise. Next thing I know, I'm lightheaded and I felt myself fall into the ground. I didn't even have a lot to drink. I woke up and I saw some little thing run into the bushes with my dog following it. I found my dog later with a clump of green skin in his mouth. Green, like moss or something. You saw the Zetas. fell almost ten days later. Nine days, nineteen hours to be exact. That's two hundred and thirty-five hours precisely. You know what that is, right? That's right. The atomic number of the Thiso isotope of uranium. They had a plan from the very beginning. Why would they come after me first? Scott Shepard, the nurse. Well, good question. He's a weirdo. They have our blood. They knew which ones of us would survive. This is one big experiment to them. This whole thing was staged. Our lives, our thoughts, everything was designed for us. Just like this conversation. Every word I'm saying. Planned. Time to wake up, Appalachia. Find the ones holding the strings and cut the cords. He's crazy. That guy's nuts. Ah, cooking oil. And the cow. Delbert's oil thing, whatever. Hooray. But, uh, yeah, so everyone in this town has some kind of story about why they're here. But, not, he's not really crazy. He's, he saw the Zetas. We know the Zetas exist because we've seen the other games. And the theory has always been that the aliens started the war. But we never really were able to, you know, prove that. Oh, he's actually, like, not weird, weirdly posed up in the air anymore. I have to come find him later, so I'll just pick up these things because I need the survivor story from him later. But um, this is gonna be this is so disrespectful. <laughs> Today's the day. Volunteer training. Delbert wants every volunteer to cook one meal for today's potluck. Today's menu is survivor's basic ribeye steak. It's meat from one of the local cows. Toss it on the fire until it stops oozing. Easy enough. Comfort food cookbook. New comfort cookbook recipes detected. Updating database. Potluck schedule. Ribeye steak. Monday. Ribeye. 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 He likes ribeyes. Past favorites. Ribeyes. Delbert's Diary. On faith. I need to write down my thoughts because I was losing faith. I'm ashamed to admit it. Witness the wrath of my own eyes. The brightest delights filled the sky and I thought he had come for me and those of the, those of the faith. But we remain. Why? Either he did not come or we were not good enough. I pray. I pray every moment I can. Nothing. I hear nothing. I used to hear something. I think. Did I? It's hard to remember. So long ago. February 20th. This past month I have struggled. I have cooked a lot though. You know, it helps keep me calm to cook. Ingredients are so simple. Mix this and that and you get yourself a good food. Life, not so much. And the beyond, I don't know. I thought I did. The responders came and set up camp in town. There are a bunch of medical and firefighter types and they plan to fix up survivors. I'm volunteering and this is something I know I can do. Devoting myself to cooking for these survivors and running the book club and the nightly survivors' guilt meetings has been good for me. 
but I still come home at night and I think why why I was ready I was ready my whole life for this what did I do wrong it makes me glad to see the responders are taking in survivors so well we need them Lord knows we need to rebuild this land I've been noticing a weird thing some of the animals are born different first I thought it was a random fluke two-headed cow should go to the museum of fakery but then it happened again and again he doesn't make mistakes like this weird cows are born more often than not and I don't know what to say plants are weird too plants are merging changing colors I don't know what maybe this is recreation of our world like after the flood if so we survivors had no ark no protection stayed up all night cooking stew and corn pone for everyone here it's a lot of us now a lot of us aren't doing so good some have lost faith in the responders and ran to the mountains to join gangs. I pray for them. I pray for us all, mind you. Weird cows continue to be weird. Heard someone who arrived from over east to here called Brahmin. Can't remember what the regular cow tastes like anymore, or regular tomatoes for that matter. Set up an experiment to monitor these things. I'm worried. What if meat and vegetables here are hurting us? I need to keep track of this to know for sure. In the meantime, I think old prepackaged food's probably okay. <coughs> Bunch of old survivors came down to town from the mountains. They're in a gang now. They wanted stuff. Tore up my gardens, killed some cows. Go and start putting some extra food in the pantry just in case. I need to remember, they have a tough time up there. Can't be much to eat in the mountains. Brought all the weird cows down from the nearby farms, let them loose in the pastures. I think they'll stay by because I planted a bunch of good hay grass there. In a couple months, I'll build some gardens near the houses. And I'll set up some control groups of plants. He didn't take us, so I need to make sure I'm ready for when he returns. This has to be just a trial. I have to do better. I need to make sure everyone here eats well, survives well until the end. I've sunken my entire life lately into these experiments and feeding these survivors. I've asked him if this is enough. If he'll come for me now. Silence. Is this punishment? I was in the war. I killed. I know I did these things, but I had to. They made me do it. I thought it was right to. How can I apologize now? Just finished planting the community garden for the next year. Figure I'll spend some time in the garden patches behind my house for a bit. Brings me peace to work for the land like this. Planting some seeds. Gonna see what in the hoot they turn out to be. Don't look like any kind of seeds I know. Bless his creativity, right? I know he's dead. And that's everything. Anything in there? Nope, just updating the database. Whatever. Alright! So, someone hit me. This guy, he's dead. He got killed. See, he's got his story here, but if I pick that up, it's gonna start talking. And then they're gonna send me back here anyways in a minute, so... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna do anything there. Who hit me? Who hit me? Where are they? Smack him one. Jerk face. Anyways. Uh, yeah, let's go up here. Um, I did that. You're going this way. Hello. Soto. That was weird. You gotta turn around. No box. This guy, I know I got that guy already. Free cooking lessons from Delbert. Probably. Yeah, just outside flat versus Survivor in parking lot, Delbert Winter is leading cooking. Take it, whatever, free to all subscribers. Hooray! Ah, uh, survivors, rather, not subscribers. What am I talking about? It's always free to you guys. And gals. And there's like at least one girl that watches me, I know, from my. It's weird, YouTube tells you this stuff. <laughs> yeah!
heck was that? Oh, possums. Boiled water. Yeah, let's make some corn soup. Oh, yes. And corn soup. Sure. Level four, I got a perk thing. Pack of perk cards. That's good. We'll deal with that in a second. That's the ribeye steak I'm supposed to cook. That's part of my mission. That'll come up, I think, in a minute. Uh, healing. Da, 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 da. I think that's everything. Okay, exits. Okay. Uh huh. Um. Level up. Yes, that's right. Unopened perk pack. Yes. Ba bam. Bunch of stuff. Gunrunner, hacker, concentrated fire, butcher's bounty, and the funnies. Winning isn't everything. Scribed in every second place trophy. Ha ha. And a piece of gum. Alright, so what do I want to bring up now? I think perception is locks. No? I'm using two-handed melee weapons, though. Darn it! Ah, uh, alright. Oops. Let's put on Butcher's Bounty, because I have one. Put on Concentrate. Nope, I can only put one there. Um, Hacker. Yes! I didn't have Hacker before. I can use that, and I can use the S. Why not? I have a whole bunch of perks in there now. Hello! Good. So I can hack things now. I can hack terminals. I wasn't able to hack terminals last time. I was only able to pick locks. Here's... What's in here? Current stockpile. Food! Critical! Water! Critical! Emergency log in. Log in. Uh, kitchen patrol. Recipe is being updated. Um, containment details. Old dump freeze tank holds 50 pounds of steak at the maximum. Temperature may be hot or cold when deposited. Automated pantry only except for by steak right now. Additional food donations will be an update 2.0. Steak must be cooked to medium rare only. Carbon levels tweaked to reject all leather consistency is well done. Steaks may be deposited in the leather scrap box for armor usage. Ha! <laughs> Diagnostics, internal refrigeration temperature, da da da, sending alert to Miguel, done. Um, bugs. Current known issues, the other way. Temperature control is broken. Not just discussing sanitation issues, food is all rotten, Delbert, partial fix applied, you can no longer receive food from the automated pantry. <laughs> you shut it off. Need the food in this pantry for the potluck. I added a diagnostic tool for now, I have to return to the airport immediately, but I will fix it when I get back. Can't detect ribeye steaks properly. It isn't registering my contribution as a volunteer. I need to be able to train survivors with this program this week. I've updated the automated pantry program, but you do have to cook the meat properly for it to detect charbroil and meat type. Can't detect potato soup properly. Same as ribeye steak problem. Delbert. Have to add a compartment to store fluid separately from the steak or else it gets stored together. I'll need to carry get Gary to pick up parts at Morgantown Airport. It'll take at least a month, probably. What do you want me to do, Miguel? Just close it for now. Ribeye steak will do, Delbert. Still says milk on the machine. Still it's just confusing, isn't it, Delbert? <laughs> Maybe Colonel can help with this? I can't paint. 
<laughs> ah, all right, anyways. Eject all the tape. I'll play it later. This dude's busy. Hasn't recorded. Dead settlers. I'm guessing the raiders came and just killed them all and. I need food, so we're gonna go corn soup. And I need water. Good enough. That should do. These were much more horrific before. These guys all had knives in them and stuff. It was pretty gross. And the raiders just rolled into town and took them all out. <clears throat> this, they had knives sticking out of them before. Because I, I took the knives from them. See, there's a knife up here. There was, there were knives in this guy. And he doesn't have any knives in him right now. Uh, let's see. So we did all that stuff. We went over there. Let's go over to this thing. Probably go in. A rack. That's what a rack is. I was wondering about that. Self serve registration kiosk. What's this? Welcome, Survivor. This program was developed to turn regular survivors into certified responder and volunteers. As volunteer, your job is to help others. It has our job. As responders help everybody, including you, register. Okay. Report to responder Kesha McDermott for further instructions. People directory. Where is she? Monitoring water safety protocols. Okay. Good. Quest done. Hooray. Or something. Quest started. Alright, anyways, we're here. It's a trading post. Let's go to this trading post. Finally, we're in a place where there's an overseer's cache, which means the overseer. Yep, there's the log. Water pump. Wow. There was no water pump plan last time I was here. Overseer's log. Town of Flatwoods. My god. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church. People were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person. 
but it had these green glowing lesions and its voice angry tortured we are one one what whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected and we expected a lot before they were wiped out the survivors called themselves the responders Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but... Someone's got to know where the missile silos are, and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. This is the Overseer, signing off. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long, and things have been rough. Welcome to Survivor Stories. I'm Dasa Ben-Ami, a responder. I've been working with the responders for a couple years now, I'm from Charleston originally, so it was easy to join up. What wasn't easy was the work. Rebuilding Appalachia from the rubble while survivors flock to us regularly from all over. So many have come and gone. Their stories untold. Their names lost to time. I thought we should preserve this history somehow. I've decided to ask people to record their thoughts their stories, anything they want to preserve forever. I'll call this series the Survivor Stories. I'll start with me. I was an anthropology PhD student at Vault Tech University, final year. I was printing my thesis when I heard the sirens. I thought for sure my father, a Vault Tech employee, could take us all with him, but uh, only two reservations came through. I refused to go. My little brother went to the vault. They could not persuade me, though they tried. In the end, I pushed them inside it, and that was it. After that, I, I went back home to Charleston and, well, survived. Eventually, the responders formed, and I, I signed up right away. It was so hard. The flood. Hi. Oh, another one. Dasa asked me if I would talk about um, how I got here. Whoops. She asked everybody, so I, I said okay. My name, my name's Colonel, and I'm 13 years old. I found I, Colonel I dead. Say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Um, the bombs and the messed up people and the cows with two heads and all of it. I was bad. Just. Bad. I, I cheated on my spelling test. I, I kicked Chip Wilkins in the shins until he cried. I pushed Rosie McCloy down the stairs. Um, I, I cut holes in the bottom of all the gym shorts and I put glue in the mashed potatoes in the cafeteria. I told Harold Newell to eat 10 dead flies a day in order to grow muscles and uh, I put Nuka Cola in the rack cage water bottles at the pet store. And um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about everything. My dad said if I wasn't this way, the bad things would happen. I haven't seen daddy since the bombs, and I guess he left because of that, too. It's okay. I'm trying to be good now, though. I'm not old enough to be a volunteer, but Dasa said I can help collect food and water, so I'm getting better, I promise. And. Um, Daddy, if you're listening, I, I promise I won't be bad anymore, so you can come back now, okay? Okay. Bye. Jeez, that was a little bit, uh, a little bit much to unload. Wow.
Kid's father is messed up. Uh, let's see. Did everything... Oh, I'm hiding. Why am I in hiding mode? Water safety report. Volunteer candidate colonel. Results. Germ profile high. Recognize material groups. I don't know what these things are. Unidentified bacteria. Mutated bacterial groups. Radiation levels extreme. Particulate granules. Pebble. Unsafe acidity. High pharmaceuticals. Water is unsafe for drinking unless boiled thoroughly. So I'll take it just because. Golly Mine Recon. Hope things with Flatwoods are going well. Had a thought I wanted to share. If we can spare their personnel, I'd like to send them into Golly Mine. They were blasting in the days before the war, and if there's still dynamite in there, it might come in handy. I know you're busy with the volunteer program, so it's your call, Maria. Memo responders read. Responders, the database is now locked. Only volunteers and responders may access until things calm down again. So precaution until this whole thing blows over and we get back to rebuilding this great country. I just updated with more information about supplies, so when we get back we can start distributing resources to the survivors that remain. Delbert and Kesha have volunteered to stay behind and take care of the survivors. Dasa. And a terminal. Did I do this already? Guest. Welcome guest. Flat responder service is currently offline. Please use volunteer bot if you need assistance. Accessing database. Access denied. Guest access accepted. Printing. Responders can return to Flatwood soon. We will process your requests. Stay nearby and use the provided emergency supplies. Robots. New patient. Metals. Mikey Edels. Uh... Volunteer bots records. Everything hurts. Literally everything. I don't even know what happened. I tuned in the radio station and heard about this place, but nobody here knows where y'all went off to. Chris, transcript from volunteer bots records. I was running and broke all my toes. My nose won't stop running on top of everything. I was getting attacked by some horribly messed up person and I started feeling sick. I think he died. His skin was on fire. I kept running. That's when I broke my toes. I'm just going to lie down a bit. I just feel bad. Count for medals. Yeah, that guy I signed in yesterday with the sniffles and broken toes just died, I guess. He turned to me and said, maybe I ate something bad, and that was it. I'll bury him in the back. This ain't my job, you know. You're welcome. Cullen. Let's see. Figured I could get some training here from professionals. Survival type training. I'm going to work on the volunteer responder program. Heard if you get access, you get a bunch of rations and rugged survival equipment. So I'm going to go do that. I used to be a member of a bunker to the east. We had plenty of food and water, or so I thought. People got nervous. There was a fight. Anyway, I left. But I don't have any supplies. Heard what was placed on the radio, so here I am. Just here to trade, really. The guy who just signed in took some supplies and others, and left some other supplies in the trade. He took most of the water and food, though. Said he was going to some asylum somewhere and would need it more. But he left us with some armor, so that was good. I've been eating nothing but Blamco mac and cheese, sugar bombs, and Instant Mash with Nuka Colas for years, even before the bombs, but lately it seems to give me the shakes. I'm a doctor, though. A doctor of philosophy, not medicine. So I came here to see if anyone could tell me if there's something I can take for stomach aches and shakes. Sending in some feedback on the robot. It's out of all its supplies. I've been grabbing supplies from other nearby houses in town, so there's enough for most of us, but the robots need to be refilled. Constant headaches. I was trying to survive up near that old vault tech vault. Had a nice shack by a pond. Even made my own liquor. Things are fine, but then I got attacked by a bunch of giant bugs, and now my head is killing me. Just where is everyone, anyways? Seems like the responders should have communicated with the outpost by now. Cullen is now a volunteer responder, and he found some resources using the database. He found info on the database that showed us where the responders are now. We're going to find them now. And that's it. I think they're all dead. It printed something, didn't it? It said it printed volunteer access, but I think I just pick it up automatically. 
Hello! Equipment contaminated. Assistance required. Equipment contaminated. Assistance required. Trade? Can he... I only have 40 caps. Oh my god. What do we have in here? Anything good? That I don't need? You can have this hatchet. And, uh... You can have... This. And this. And, um... That. And... Yeah, you can have that. I don't need that. Buy my spoiled food. Oh, there's none. Anything worth a lot? This impacts are worth four. Not really, like, a lot, but... Revise, freezer grain... I think this one... Sell that. Psycho buff I'm keeping. Overdrive I think I'm keeping. Ping. Feels comics. Oh, wow. buy any of those. This is a whole bunch of stuff that I am not selling to him. Mods, no ammo, no. Nothing he wants at least. Okay, so what does he get? Uh, nothing useful. He has a rolling pin. <laughs> uh, leather left arm, leather left leg. I have all those things. Padded blue jacket, party hat, patch, degree suit. No. Metal arms I can't afford. Bobby pins, gunpowder. The bobby pins are 13 caps each. Better for me to find them. Well, you know what? It is now 6 a.m. I am mostly done. I'm going to go back to... Like, there's a whole bunch of stuff. This town just goes and goes and goes and goes. I think. No, wait, not this town. No, that's the next town. Um, what's this? Just a... The Lone Wanderer bike. There's a... That's what I was looking for. Scrap items. Scrap junk. There it all goes. Ta-da! Alright, and, uh, let's see. That's that, and, um... Then we go to craft. And we bulk everything. For fun and profit. And then, we go back. A lot of silk beans. OK. 
Okay. That was a weird little herky jerk there. I get worried whenever it rubber bands like that, because that's just a smidge hairy. That's a Brahmin. Oh, the girl's by the river, if you're wondering why it's telling me to go down there. I don't necessarily need to do that right now. Coffins! And headstones. But the reason why I'm coming up here is because of the red rocket. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, no. That's the sound of blue flies. These sons of guns back. I keep killing them. I think I finally remember that I killed them. But the um, junk in here is back. Stuff respawns at bizarre rates in this game. everything there. I did all those. That's done. Do these from that. Uh, let's see. Well, it's kind of everything. Um, for now. Sorry, I'm getting like confused because it's because I'm tired. <laughs> Um, let's see. Alright, so I gotta... I should probably go up in the woods and build me... A little hidey hole. Go with, like somewhere around here. It's not a road, right? No, but there's. Ghouls out here. Any over here? No. Okay, so this is a spot where I can build. And I won't run into ghouls. Okay. So we're gonna quickly just, uh. Move camp. Except. There you are. Uh, we're gonna build. So, this game's a little different than the other ones. It needs foundations. So, you need to either do concrete or wooden foundations to be able to put things down. Uh, 
I just need like a single room. R1, grow selection. All of them. Alright, and then... I want to lift it up. Okay, so I have to, if you build it too low, this is a, this is annoying. There we go. Now. So there we go, and now... We want walls. These don't snap onto these, do they? No. Nope, so we want walls. Uh, what's, what's that? Foundation with ramp. No, no. Alright, so walls. Door, windows, regular wall, regular wall, one of windows, sounds good, uh, another one of windows, and a, another regular wall, alright, good, uh, roofs, we could just go with the crappy roofs, but we're not going to do that. We can give ourselves something nice and respectable. Alright, there we go. And, uh... Let's see. Just in case... Is that because the camp is there? Yeah. Alright, well, we'll leave that alone. Alright, um, what else is next? Um, what can I do? A door! L2. I want to give it a lock that I can't even break. And, uh, let's see. What else? Crafting. Alright, we're gonna go with a... I don't have blueprints for those. I can just make one of these. So that's, that's fine. Um...
Okay. Uh... Yeah, bed. Crappy bed. Got some chairs, maybe? Yeah. Do I really need anything else? I don't really need myself. I just need the stash box. Which we'll put next to the door here. There we go. And, uh. Not any rugs. On shelves, but I don't think I need to use the shelves really. Tables, no. Pictures are nice. Let's see. Nah. What is that? Porta potty? It is. It's a porta potty. You know. All right, so we have a house. And create blueprints. Exit. There we go. Open that so it has somewhere for that to go. For emergence purposes. Alright, and um, let's see. Let's go in here and we're gonna just drink some water. And uh, drink some more water. Yeah, a little bit more. Alright, and we're gonna eat some food. Oops. Freaking hell. Not what I meant. Um, anyways, uh, let's see. Right away. Diluted. Oh. Whatever I took, took away my rads. Store all my junk. Have any? And we're gonna let my guy crash for a little bit. Nah. I think we're good. All right. So I'm in my house. I'm safe for now. And so I'm going to call this one a night. It is late. I am tired. Good night. <laughs>